Hey guys, Haley here. For this video, I'm going to do another Sketchy Sunday speed paint. For those of you who are new to the channel, Sketchy Sunday is a new series where every other Sunday I draw a person or an object looking sketchy. And boy, is this Sketchy Sunday a big one. In fact, because this drawing is such a behemoth, I actually had to speed up a few clips between 1,000 and 2,000 percent just so I can fit in as much footage as I can. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for future Sketchy Sundays, be sure to let me know in the comments below. With that said, let's dive in. So for this Sketchy Sunday, I decided to do my dog, Soko. You guys may have noticed her from my old end card, and I thought it was about time I introduced her to you guys. She's a Whippet German Shepherd mix, and just the sweetest dog you could ever ask for. So the first pass I did of Soko was me essentially warming up. Thankfully, I had her like right next to me, so I'm using her as a real life reference as I'm drawing her. And at this point, all I'm focusing on is her anatomy and the pose. I'm not even thinking about making the drawing perfect. When you want to work professionally as an artist, you always want to use reference from real life. This is so, so, so important because you want to showcase your understanding of anatomy and translating that language into animation. Once I get a rough idea of her pose, I switch my focus to making the drawing more stylized in the second pass. As I'm adjusting this drawing, I'm thinking about the appeal, the silhouette, and how exaggerated I want to make the anatomy and expression. Once I finished the second pass, I actually realized that I was following Soko's real character too closely to the context of what the drawing is really supposed to be about. So in the third pass, I went for a pose that matched the more sketchy look we're aiming for. I generally don't go more than three passes to a drawing because eventually I find myself in like an insane rabbit hole of revisions. So for the sake of moving forward and completing certain pieces, three passes are generally my limit. I was much more satisfied with this version of Soko, so I just went ahead and solidified this drawing. Next phase, line art, using Kyle T. Webster's Clean as a Whistle Brush. As I'm working on Soko's line art, I was thinking back to my previous Sketchy Sunday drawing and was trying to find ways on how I could improve the line weight for this drawing. So what did I do differently this time? First thing I did was change the thickness of my brush. Looking back at my first Sketchy Sunday, I still feel like the lines were too thick. So I wanted to be more mindful on varying the lines with this drawing. Second thing I did differently was working with separate layers for the line art. I wasn't confident in my strokes yet, especially for her tail, so I made sure to have two or three different layers for each stroke so that I could go back and cut out the parts that intersected with each other. Uh, another reason why I did this, as you can see, was that I can be very forgetful about certain parts of the artwork. So in case I wanted to add anything, like her collar, I can simply do the line art on a separate layer, cut out the parts that intersected the collar, then merge them once I'm done. And now my favorite part! Coloring! Um, like I said in the previous Sketchy Sunday, uh, it's my favorite part. Um, always keep a palette handy before you start anything. So thankfully I had Soko's old end card to use my palette, so I just color picked from there. A nice little touch I like to add every so often with my drawings, or you know, if I'm just not feeling lazy, uh, is that I like to add color to the character's line art. To do this, I duplicate the original line art layer, then color the duplicate using the alpha channel. To pick the right color for the line art, I take the original palette, like Soko's fur, then I make it darker. Soko has a light yellowish brown fur, so I decided that her line art should be a dark brown. So in order to keep the line art on her eyes, her nails, and her collar black, I used the pen tool around it so it only selected her fur. I changed the pen tool path into a selection path, then I just began coloring the selected areas. Then I repeat the process for the background. 
Only difference is that this stage requires more technical knowledge in order for the character to fit the composition. You need to think about perspective, value, and essentially all the elements that make this a successful drawing. Hmm, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this drawing looks too clean. Soko does look pretty sketchy with that face, but, you know, that's not enough. What about... Watching another sketchy Sunday speed paint. I hope this video was informative and entertaining. If you're interested in the gear and tools I used to create this video, or if you'd like to impress your friends with your own awesome art, check out the links in the description below. I will be going to VidCon in just a few days, and I'm really looking forward to meeting some old friends and making some new ones. And soon after that, I'll be releasing my next storytime video. Here, let me give you a little hint on what it's about. Still not sure? Oh well, guess you'll have to wait and see. That's all for now, so stay tuned and see you soon.